Hello, welcome to What Not Basics. In this video, we will have a complete walkthrough of the FAQ Builder feature of What Not. FAQ Builder is a tool that allows you to train the bot by building a knowledge base of queries and responses. Once trained sufficiently, your chatbot will be capable of answering FAQs on its own. There are two parts to the FAQ Builder, which are Intent List and Intent Training. Let's first have a look at the intent list screen. Here you can see all the intents that you have created based on various phrases and responses of the visitors interacting with the bot. In case you are wondering what an intent is, it basically means what the visitor is trying to say through a sentence. We will learn about it with an example in a bit. Frequency shows the number of times that particular intent has been triggered by the visitors. When a question is answered by the FAQ bot, it asks for the visitor's feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. The average of these ratings indicate how receptive your response is to the question is. I will show you later in this video how to enable that. Lastly, you can also see the exact dates when any particular intent was modified or created for your reference. Coming to the important part which is how to create an intent. This can be done in four simple steps. Step 1 is to give a name to the intent. Let's say refund policy. Step 2 is to add phrases. Phrases are basically the questions that the visitor might ask in different ways. For instance, what is the refund policy or will I get a refund after revoking admission? The more phrases you train to the bot, the smarter the bot gets at understanding the question. We recommend you add at least 5 to 7 phrases. Next, you have a response associated with an intent. Therefore, when an intent is matched, its response is sent to the visitor. Since we are talking about refund policy, you can add something like this. You can also attach a screenshot of your website for easy reference by adding a file. Or maybe add a link to that particular page by clicking this icon. Lastly, when you are all done, don't forget to click on save. Saving will start training the chatbot for that particular intent. Now that we have our FAQs in place, we will build a FAQ chatbot flow using the bot builder so that the bot uses this knowledge to answer the questions asked by the visitors. If you want to know more about Whatnot's bot builder in detail, click the card appearing on the top right corner of your screen. We will begin by sending a greetings message, then add the collect input action block and ask the question for which we need to process answers. We will then save the response the visitor submits in a variable, let's say question. Finally, we will add the FAQ action block and choose question which is the variable that we saved the visitor input in. If you want to capture the feedback of the conversation from the visitors, enable it from right here. The feedback will be visible in the intent list that we talked about earlier. Now, whenever a question is asked to the FAQ chatbot, there can be one of two outcomes, success or failure. If the bot is able to respond using the intent created, it will count as a success. On success, you can choose to either loop the flow so that every input received from the visitor keeps getting fetched from the FAQ builder, or you could just fetch the answer once and move on to the next action block in the flow. Sometimes it is possible that the bot is unable to understand the phrases or there are some unrelated queries coming in and if that is the case then you may send a message either continuing, transferring the chat to a human agent or ending the conversation. When the bot is unable to respond to the phrases the intent training feature comes in handy. These are all the phrases that the bot was unable to recognize. Frequency shows the number of times this phrase is used by the visitors having conversation with the bot. 
You can also see the date on which particular phase was triggered. Now, our aim is to keep making the bot smarter. And we do that by training the chatbot with these phrases. If a phrase is related to any existing intent or you want the response to be the same, then just click on Train Existing Intent. Search for the related intent. Click on Add and Save. Now your bot knows what to respond to that phrase. Sometimes the phrase might be completely unrelated and for that you might want to create a new intent with a new response. Follow the same steps as we talked about earlier and you are good to go. That's all with the FAQ Builder. Take a look at our other feature explainers in the next video.